Hi guys, jollof rice is a meal enjoyed by many Nigerians, Ghanaians and West Africans at large. So we're going to be making this jollof rice. We're going to be making use of ingredients we can lay hands on at home. I'm getting started by adding vegetable oil to my dried pan. So I'm going to be making use of things I have at home for this jello fry. So this is a quick jello fry you can make for yourself for lunch or for dinner. Just want to enjoy jello fries. You can make this very fast. I'm going to bring in my diced onion now. I already sliced my onion before now. So just allow this to fry a bit and you bring in your tomato paste so I'll be making use of two sachets of tomato paste for the quantity of rice I'm making always remember that your ingredients depends on the quantity that you're making When making jollof rice, tomato paste or whatever it's called according to your location, it's very essential. This helps to tune the rice and gives it the nice color. So now I'm going to come in and start dissolving this into smaller beads. It's very important that you dissolve this. You don't want it caked, so just dissolve it a bit and allow it to fry. Notice the color of the tomato paste now that I just added it to my hot oil. Notice that it's a bit, it's very red. So this is a sign that your tomato paste is not ready yet. When it's not well cooked, this is the color. When it becomes cooked, it gets darker. When frying your tomato paste, always make sure you monitor it to avoid burning. So at this stage, I'm going to bring in my blended um, garlic and ginger. So I like grating my garlic and ginger. I like using fresh garlic and ginger. So I just grate it and then I add it. It gives it a nice flavor and it's very essential for me. So this has been going on for some time, so I'm going to bring in my spices, I'm using thyme. I'm using a sachet of thyme for this quantity of rice, I'm making 6 cups, 6 to 5 cups there about. And I'm going to use curry powder as well, very essential, very very essential. Jello rice is a spicy food, you have to work with spice. Oh, rosemary. I almost forgot about this. This is very essential for me. Some people don't like it, but I like rosemary for jello fries. So I'm just going to fry these. You can see that the color of my tomato paste is becoming darker. It's not as bright as it used to be. That means it's getting ready. So you can always monitor it just looking at the color. You can see it's dark now. This has been going on for about... 10 minutes the reason why I'm constantly staring is to avoid burning if you leave it it will get dried and it will get burnt so you just have to time to time just stir it a bit stir it a bit so this is ready now I'm going to bring in my tomato mix I blended my tomato with fresh pepper and onion and blended it roughly although it was not intentional because there was no power so I had to use my manual blender When blending your tomato, I would advise you to blend smooth. It's always nice. It's better when it's smooth. So I'm going to cover this up now and allow it to cook for 10 minutes. So this is about 10 to, yeah, 10 minutes later. I'm going to add my bay leaves and seasoning cubes. 
you can add bay leaves before now you can add it earlier than now but i just choose to add it now So I'm just going to cover this up and allow it to steam up for some time. If you notice I added seasoning cubes, that's not all I'm going to be using. So I'm going to steam this for 5 minutes now. I'll be adding more seasoning cubes later. I just wanted that to give it a bit of taste to it. Okay, so this is nice. You can see the color difference now. It's looking fine. The tomato mix made it come alive made it look lighter and better now i'm going to be using the little meat stock i have this is my leftover meat stock so it just you can boil your meat and season your stock and just keep it put it aside in your fridge and when you whenever you want to cook you bring out some I'm going to add water to this it all depends on the quantity of rice you're making I think this water will be enough but the trick is that always make sure that your water covers your rice yes no matter the quantity of your rice make sure that the water covers the rice that's a trick so I'm going to allow this to boil I'm going to bring it to a boil before I bring in my rice So this is boiling i like doing this i prefer this method this way your rice gets cooked easily it doesn't get to soak it doesn't get to be half done or something you can see the oil is on top the water that's one of the signs to show you that you're on the right track as for the rice i did not parboil my rice i don't parboil my rice for jello rice i wash my rice i washed this rice for about seven times yeah you just keep washing with water i started washing with salt then just water wash and wash and tea it is this clean so now i am going to stir and mix this up properly you don't want the ingredients to be on top of your rice and your rice is down so you have to all the ingredients are down your rice is up so you have to mix properly the trick i was telling you about the water you notice that the water level is above the rice your water level should always cover your rice that's where you know you are not under cooking your rice Oh, for my first timers or my new subscribers, I'm so sorry. If you're wondering who this is, my name is Joy. Thank you for staying tuned. If you're a new subscriber, thank you. To my returning subscribers, I say thank you and God bless you. So we're going to cook this for 15 minutes. So at this point, you're going to test for the texture of your rice and see if it's soft enough or if you need to add a little bit of water Okay, I think my rice is on track, so I'm just going in and I'm going to stir and mix properly. So the, the, the trick is this. If you notice that the rice is a bit hard, but not so hard, then you don't need to add water to it. All you need is to apply pressure heat. And you can do that by covering it up with foil paper after mixing properly. You cover up with foil paper, you seal it up, and then you turn down the heat of your gas reduce the heat because jollof rice needs um heat not fire because if the if the heat is so high and the fire is everywhere your rice is just going to get burnt and it's not going to be cooked it's a trick you just have to learn it so i'm trying to mix properly to ensure that the color of the rice is even the the socks is evenly spread and all that so this is okay now my rice is not so hard my rice is on track because of the level of water i added so i'm just going to cover it up but at this point i will advise you if you're a first timer please seal up with foil 
so you don't get confused also I added onion because you add onion towards the end of your cooking I'm sorry I didn't show you guys that I added onion and this is ready my rice is soft enough it actually depends on how you like your rice but it's better to have very soft jello fries I don't know I like my jello fries soft so I'm just going to go in again and mix this up properly this is ready you can decide to serve this with any protein of your choice and if you're a Nigerian you know the drill you know how it goes you have to serve this with dodo or moi moi and if you're not a Nigerian you're wondering what dodo is maybe you're hearing it for the first time it's fried ripe plantain ripe plantain we just fry it with oil and we serve it with this rice Thanks for staying tuned. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Okay guys, so this is it. Till we meet again. Bye.